What do we do to keep our black love strong? All right, we keep. Say hi to Zai. Hi, Zai. He's here. Oh, he left it. He's back here. Wednesday, pin comment. All right, thank you for coming. Thank you for bearing with us as we get started. But um, yeah, welcome to Wellness Chat Wednesday. We balance healing, come together every Wednesday to awesome. give you give you um. Cause that was good. <laughs> you want to do that one, baby? Oh, beautiful. I like yours. Um, come together to offer our, what we know about wellness. You know, mental, physical, spiritual, emotional, energetic. We come to teach you what we have learned ourselves um, about wellness and about balance and about healing. Um, yeah, so we wanted to talk about um, how we keep our love strong um especially as you know black indigenous people in this country because there is definitely a lot of things that go into making sure the black man and the black woman are not together yes. so we decided that we we just uh we're gonna make it <laughs> you know and um i mean our journey kind of even starts before we even met each other um like we knew what kind of partner we wanted before we even knew each other and we were focused on that and making sure we were ready for that when it when it would come and of course there was still more things that we needed to work on because you know that's what a relationship is a relationship is something that is put together so that you can of course feel love and joy and peace and ease and you know all of that but also um for us to really look at ourselves um, and learn more about ourselves and further work on ourselves. So yeah. Yes. Oh yeah. The Jack is back. Jack <laughs> I like that. The Jack is back. But yes, yeah, so let's see if you can get both of us in all of these screens. So I'm just, you know, it's my music in the background, you know. So just wanted to let some of it play while we let people get in the building, you know. So we vibing. We talking about black love, right? So <laughs> telling my goddess to hold me. You hear that? Might break up, make up, doesn't it? Buzz it, it buzz it. Um, you know, I like to look at myself. You know? <laughs> Chill. Peace and love, sis. Welcome. Really Welcome to the chat. Hope all is well. Peace and love to the family. You know, so no worries. Just build in with us. You know, we came in a little late because we had a little technical difficulties with the sound, but we're going to be talking about black love, jack of all trades, botanica, botanica healing. We in yeah. a building, balance healing. We are the power couple of the century. I'm coining that term now. Make sure you remember it. Balance healing, you know. You're seeing us in our young stage, and we're gonna be looking young for a very long time. <laughs> but don't worry, when we all, oh, I remember when they looked like they were 18. Now they look like they're 30, <laughs> but they're really 40. <laughs> you know. So make sure you stay in tune with us. Make sure you build with us, family. Um, yeah, so welcome to Wellness Chat Wednesdays. Wednesdays. Um, today, you know, uh, the topic was, or is, <laughs> uh, how does our holistic lifestyle strengthen our black love? Um, it's very powerful. And um, like she was saying to you guys earlier in the stream, is that um, 
we kind of started our journey before we met each other, and which is what kind of led us into meeting each other in the first place, and which caused us to, you know, align. And, um, Definitely. That's uh, really important when it comes down to uh, relationships, because when you want to deal, when you're talking about relationships, remember, what is the, uh, how are these two people relating? Peace and love, sis. Uh, what's going on? Welcome to uh, Balance Healing Wellness Chat Wednesdays. Um, but we're talking about relationships and black love. And we're also going to town in on how, you know, I'm a holistic naturopath. You know, she's a uh, herbalist and, um, you know, a healer, spiritual healer and, um, and a lot more than that. But long story short is that's how our paths align uh, with each other, how that strengthens our relationship. Um, I was just talking about how uh, basically I had to go through my trials and tribulations, which led me into my spiritual ascension, right? Um, but I had to do that and I had to go on that journey by myself, right? So I had to really understand myself. But let's listen to the word. Let's listen to etymology, linguistics, relationship, right? So how will uh, me and the other individual um, of the opposite sex relate you know, how do we relate to each other? You know, because she's one opposite side of the polarity, you know, masculine, feminine. That's why we balance healing, right? So um, she had to understand herself. I had to understand myself. But we had to make sure we can relate to each other. And where is this, you know, people say the ship, ship is on a movement. So where is this ship going, right? So how is us two relating to each other? And this is basically how I approach her, letting her know everything about myself and what I can do to benefit her and um, you know what I can do to benefit us and you know us starting a family together and um, that's what kind of led us into you know this one and a half year going on two year relationship we in now you know um, you know we kind of just got in it rock solid cold <laughs> turkey just like I did you know it was like you know what we started boom 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 I was kind of living with her in less than a week guys <laughs> yeah seriously um but yeah so i love what you said about um the etymology relationship right and um so again we both kind of knew what we were looking for um before we met each other and of course there's gonna be little tweaks here and there because there's things that we didn't even know we wanted you know uh, or things that we decided later on is a, is a must. And that, then we just express that to keep that ship going in the way that we want it to go. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, so it's important to know, like, what do you really, really need? You know, know who you are and know um, what it is that you truly need in order to feel what you want to feel. So for me... I always wanted to um, make sure I felt freedom, um, love. Like, I need to be, like, loved. Like, love me. You know? <laughs> I need to feel loved. I need to feel supported. I need to feel not Fellas, judged. Fellas, love your woman. You heard? You know, I need to feel like make I sure can... You touch her. <laughs> exactly. <Feel> her up. <laughs> Massage But I need, I needed to feel like, you know, I can be <laughs> who, I, who I truly am. Um without feeling like I'm gonna be like like not feel safe, not feel supported, not feel um you know, able to be vulnerable. That's like and and vulnerability was very, very important to me from before I met him. Um and that's what that's what happened in our first conversation too, like yeah, but uh, can you be vulnerable? Because, you know, that's why the last guy had to go. Because he going to be vulnerable. So, what's up? Mm -mm. <laughs> um, actually speak louder than words, so. Very true. And then he was. You, yeah, you were actually vulnerable that whole night. Even before I said that. <laughs> um, but, yeah. So, holistic hey, lifestyle. How our dream. holistic what's lifestyle. Um, late. <laughs> We was like too girl, don't even worry. Nah, <laughs> um Damn. Uh oh, holistic lifestyle. So holistic lifestyle to us um equals, you know, mental, physical, spiritual, emotional, you know, all of the O's. <laughs> 
Um, yeah, so... You're good. Don't worry. It's <laughs> so, um, yeah, like, so, number one, we had to be in the space of being open to um, <laughs> differing or opposing everything. Mm-hmm. <laughs> opposing thought patterns, That's opposing... Um, well, not everything, because there's like there's certain core beliefs, and you gotta give them the analogy that you always do. But there's different core beliefs um, and values that like people have to agree on in order to be in a flourishing relationship. Mm-hmm. Um, you have to be on the same page with at least a few different things, or it's gonna <laughs> promote um, just war later. Word. Let's talk about it. So when we talk about relationships, let's uh, let's just understand, um, especially now that I've been a successful one, uh, I have the experience to know uh, that um, people that are in relationships, a lot of people are really not in what they, well, they are in relationships, the but ship they, ain't they ship ain't really <laughs> going nowhere, and are these two people really relating to each other? Because this is where it come, break, come, comes down to it, because... Are we fucking, let's be real, (laughs) or are we really building something? Are we getting to the mini and gritty, or are we going to, like, you know, build so we can have a future with each other and start a family? And um, that's usually the core of where a relationship, the foundation, should really start. Peace, sis. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, Yeah, you know, we're talking about uh, black love and how a holistic lifestyle strengthens our relationship. So, but right now I'm just hounding in on the fact of how relationships are not really going to where people really want them, especially women really want them because they have expectations and the people that they're dealing with, and they're not, they're attracting that energy to them. Um, when energy flows, energy goes. So that, that energy will flow right back to your ass too. <laughs> if you keep staying around that energy. And um, so to have a strong relationship, like what we had, you know, our holistic lifestyles is kind of what kept 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 us strong because you know what it, what it was too our holistic lifestyles is what was keeping us individually strong right mm-hmm. so then just imagine us two forces coming together because you know I'm already one way this way she's this way but she has knowledge that I don't know about and I have knowledge that she doesn't know about and she's good on her side and I'm good on my side peace and love family welcome to the chat Karima VQ Marjorie Geneva Welcome, welcome. Shout out to all of you guys that are here with us tonight. You can be anywhere in the world. You can be watching anybody else's live stream. But you're watching ours. Yes, we are thankful. Thankful. Shout out to you. But back to what I was saying. So understanding that, you know, the power of um, the feminine and the masculine coming together. While, you know, also... Just individually understanding why why they're so powerful individually, right? But when they come together as a force, I always say this to the students, you know, we're stronger as a fist and a finger. So think about one finger hitting something versus two. Just the balance between the two is really what we can um, understand. Once we grasp that, then we'll be able to understand, like, all right, this is where that, that power really lies in. And I have that, that experience. I have that hands-on experience now having a wife for this amount of time and um just knowing that our holistic lifestyles because think about it let's say you're vegan you're pescatarian you're whatever area you are and but your partner eats everything in the world automatically there's going to be conflict because in the house you want to eat this you eat this oh you make you, you you're um vegan but he's making he's frying chicken or she's frying chicken on the pan that you're using for <laughs> you know your stir frying your vegetables like it's like you don't want that on there so there's already a clash yep definitely and Peace then when they DJ. try to have children Woo! Condition, you know so yeah that's another thing too let's but before we even get to the children just the kitchen just the household things in the kitchen like you know uh you know you might not want you know, to have dead caucuses in your in your in your fridge. When you open the fridge, you see all of this, or you might see dairy. You know, um, and you're like, "What is this? Why is this even in here?" And then, or the food going in the garbage. Some people don't even think about that. Like, you know, 
you having uh, all that stuff in your garbage and it's starting to smell and it's like whoa like i don't eat this stuff what's this doing in here mm-hmm. and it's like oh this is your partner this is your significant other that you are planning to be with are you planning to be with for the rest mm-hmm. of your life right and it's all good if you are not looking for that and you're trying to like explore soil royal oats but understand that's what you are, <laughs> what you're trying to do but when you're trying to or especially women if you're looking for a relationship you're trying to build something with somebody you got to make sure your 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 foundation core rules are or your boundaries are are met to, you know to the best capability the standards, you know girls, the so standards. it's like you know you want to make sure you're with a man or men you want to make sure you know you're with a female that's thinking or you're on a similar frequency you want to be on that same frequency so when it comes down to the health peace of love yoni juju um when, <laughs> when, <name>. yeah <laughs> when it comes down to the health when it comes down to the um peace of love to the family joining um when it comes down to the health and when it comes down to all of this stuff you want to make sure that all right cool the frequency you want your better half is on that similar frequency. Like they, y- you guys can kind of commit, communicate with each other telepathically. You know, not even to get into some esoteric or some, but you just want to make sure, like you know, y'all have that that connection. And uh, even e- even if it's not there and you're trying to build it, you want to make sure your standards are still met, so you don't have to deal with you know the. The unnecessary just friction, yeah. right? That'll come with that, right? So the example I gave with the food, right? Another example: you want to homeschool your children, you know. I don't want my children in the system, right? But you know, your your the mother of the child, right? In in this country, in America, you know, most of the time, even if you are the father, she getting most of the say. I want my son. I want my son in school, right? And the father's just like, you know core rules like you know so already there's a class right there Mm -hmm. you want to have a home birth your your husband your your, the dude you with is like oh hell no we need to take your ass to the hospital you crazy girl what you talking about you know and these are the things that happen in relationships right because some people don't even know the person they're with I've seen relationships people with that they've been with each other for four years and they had no idea that um, for the last two, this person was trying to become vegan, right? In the house, living in the house with them. And they're like, oh, I haven't ate meat for the last year, you know? <laughs> they, and it's like, you know, not understanding, like, you know, they, they're really in a relationship with each other. But some of the things, like, oh, they might not know that this person watched this show or they actually support LGBT. CQ or they don't or whatnot like they, they just don't know these certain values about each other because these are some of the things they don't ask they don't know their political um background or their standing do they vote do they want to vote um business wise are you guys just working jobs until you get a pension when you're at until you retire or are you guys trying to build a relationship i mean a build a business together or if one person doing the business these are the things that should be spoken about inside of our relationships. Yeah. If they're not spoken about, then, you know, the, this is just a pathway or um, an equation for destruction for the relationship. Because, or it's just going to be two people basically comfortable in their destruction. Yeah. <laughs> you know, because the- it's self-destruction right now. Not to cut you off, babe. But just understanding the fact that, you know, we live in a day and a time where we have so much information that is um, privy to us, right? So us understanding what we can do now versus what our ancestors and uh, other people could, um, um, our elders and people could do back then in their generation, we have the ability to do so much right now. And um, this is why, you know, the elites or the people that have power are using... Um, why they're using so much things like, you know, mass media, social media, television, you know, movies, cinema, silver screens for distractions uh, to distract us from, from our power, from our greatness, mm-hmm. you know. And um, the real power comes in with family and the structure of the family. And that family cannot start or cannot build if it doesn't have the masculine and the feminine. 
right? See how this all ties back in for them to, because they know the, our power and what we are, what uh, what we can do and our greatness. Mm-hmm. But you know, and our ability to produce and to pro- to procreate. Right, um, you know, most of the people that's at the top right now are um, most of the elite, the one percent, right? The one percent, their families, and those families, those names last forever. Rothschilds, Rockefellers, you know, the the JP Morgan Chases, a lot of you people bank with Chase, you know, <laughs> um, that's a family name. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm, that just made me think about how, um, they say that Oprah's not allowed to have a family. Because she can get to, you know, as far as she wants to go, but she's not allowed to have a family. She ain't got no children. No husband. No she husband. been with Stedman or whatever his name is for mad long. Never got married. So that means her, her wealth is not going to anybody. She's not she passing her. You know? And that's the issue in our community. So this is why we have to step up, step it up. And really step it up for our, um, the generation coming under us. To uh, really know how we can strengthen our relationships, strengthen this black love that we have, you know, this black love that we're seeing, um, you know, amongst the community. It's out there. Trust. You know, I mean, you know, we're the power couple of the century, so you know, you're going to see a lot of it over here. You're... But, um, you know, you're going to see a lot of it out there, too, you know, uh, and definitely uh, big it up and make sure it's out there and we um, making sure we uh, make... Just bigging up these other couples and other relationships and other marriages and making sure that, you know, they're producing children, making sure families is coming out of this because this is what's going to create more nations, more tribes, more clans for us to really populate. And um, the information is out there and we got to do what we need to do for these babies. Yeah. And and, yeah, cakes. The thing is, right. What I've been seeing from um, supporting the homeschooling institute that we work with from clients like i just see the importance of that mother and father in the home i didn't have that after 12 years old so like up until 12 i remember you know for the silliness i can go to my dad morning afternoon or night i mean afternoon when it was a weekend you know or um and i can go to my mom for you know, to kind of just figure out what to do, you know, that, that structure, that, um, that layout for a plan as a child, as I'm growing. Right. So it's like, there's certain things that like one parent cannot do it all. One parent can't be like, if you think about our genetics, right, we have half our mom, half our dad. So there's going to be aspects of us that our mother might not understand. She might find it annoying. Like my mom found silliness annoying, but like I could, you know, there was a period where I didn't speak to my dad like that because it was like, what the hell? But when I would speak to him, it was that joyous, like laughing thing that because that's what that's part of me. Mm-hmm. There's part of me that is like that, but that is like him in a lot of ways, you know. So but then I look at like ugh, there's this power, beautiful, loving like there's this 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 mother and father um, of two children. Um, at the school, at the um, homeschooling institute. And, like, I just see, like, the guidance that the mom gives and the sh- discipline that the father gives, you know? Like, and it's not like he's super rough or anything like that, but, like, there's certain things that he handles, and it's handled. And she don't got to stress herself. She don't got to, you know, be something that she's not. And so that that makes me really, like, excited to be able to, like, I, I've realized that, you know, I've attracted a relationship where I can be feminine. I can be soft. I was in relationships before where, like, you know, this guy is not stepping up, so I need to be masculine. And that feels yucky when you just want to be, like, oh, I don't got to worry, you know? Like, when you got to do all the thinking, all the moving and shaking, all the, like, all of that, like, it doesn't feel good for me. Um, Trust me, I know hands for <laughs> First on, I know. So yeah, you know, um, I just see the importance is what I'm saying. Like I see the importance of what um, a woman brings to a family and what a man brings to the family and how uh, it's just necessary for a child to like fully be able to express him or herself, to fully be who they know that they, they can be or guiding them to be their, their fullest amazing self. Um, yeah, so like I, I just see it. It's 
I, I'm excited for that. And no, I'm not pregnant, y'all, okay? Because I know we keep saying things about, like, we're starting a family. Yeah, <laughs> don't worry. Soon. <laughs> not too soon. Mm-mm-mm. But, uh, yeah, family will soon start, you know? But we got to make sure, you know, um, we're still on the verge of getting ourselves better. Um, we know that we need to get ourselves right to make sure that we bring in um, the best... Um, seed that we can possibly um, grow. It's just like being an agriculturalist, and that's what our ancestors were too. You know, you want to make sure the soil is fertilized properly. You want to make sure, you know, um, you got the, the, the water that you're about to um, put up in there is good. You want to make sure the soil got all the minerals in there so that when the, when the, when the fruit or the, uh, or the vegetable is bearing, I'm uh, um, growing from from that um soil is it's it has all the minerals that it could possibly can so you know you want to make sure that that's a that's a process you know so it's going to be the same thing as far as with us we agriculturalists for ourselves you want to make sure our body we want to make sure our organs our cells are replenished we want to make sure that um you know our our blood is cleansed and um you know, all those things tie into us producing that um, a God. And if you're not in that kind of relationship where you can do that with your, your significant other, that you kind of like already missing out on um, one little part of the uh, the equation to manifest one of those. <laughs> you know, and if let's say if you are on that frequency and your significant other isn't. Is that really your significant other? Well, let's pause there for a second. Because a lot of times what happens in, in longer relationships, um, especially when they got together younger, they might not already come to the, to the um, plate on that frequency, right? Um, you happen to start pretty young, Damo, 24, right? Um, yeah, but... There's a lot of times where, like, maybe the man or the woman becomes a little bit, like, they get a glimpse of consciousness. Consciousness, like, you know, loosely, used loosely. (laughs) But they come into an awareness that the way that they're living has been fed to them um, through society and media and blah, 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 blah. (laughs) <laughs> but then they realize, like, nah, like, I got to go back to something natural. Like, what is natural, right? And um, then they might see, like, all right, well, they, they might start with, like, oh, you know, I'm going to eat, you know, I'm going to stop eating pork. And then I'm going to stop eating beef. And then I'm going to stop eating chicken. And then the, the partner is like, all right, okay, pork, okay, I guess, I get it. You know, they do say pork is bad, I guess, you know. Then beef, beef uh, 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 I guess, okay, uh, what? You're not eating meat? What are we going to eat? Vegetables? Like, what's going on? And then, that's funny. But, um, you know, that it's... it's Peace King. It's, um... Mm. What was I going to say? Yeah, I mean, it's, 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 it can be alarming, right? But there's a way that you can hold space for your partner while they're um, experiencing all this change with you. Um, it would take compassion and patience and not judging them because mm-hmm. if they feel that energy coming from the person that that's supposed to love them unconditionally it's not going to be good they're going to say oh it's that vegan shit you on or it's that you know oh you meditate now like oh you think you better than me like you know like we're not trying to make our partner feel that way we're, we want to be um inviting to them if we have shifted um you know our vibration and we want them to come along it has there's a special kind of way that you Make sure your partner feels loved, honored, and and respected, and like, you know, not thrown away, <laughs> just because you changed. So mm-hmm. yeah, so, you know, to answer your question, they could still be your soulmate, but you can't spring it on them and make them like, wait, you're not who I fell in love with. You are who they fell in love with. You're just upgrading, and you would like to take them along with you. Upgrade, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. So everything she said. <laughs> you know, um, and just tying it back into, you know, our holistic lifestyles again, right? Um, and ho- being holistic doesn't just have to deal with the food, the nutrition. Uh, it has a lot to deal with, you know, just, you know, daily habits, your hygiene, um, 
you know, the clothes that you wear, um, you know, exercising or yoga, walking, meditation, breathing, you know, the, your Grounding hydra- the yourself. Form, your form of hydration. Um, these are the things that deal with, you know, your overall or your holistic health. And um, us having a, a clear understanding of what we want, because that means it's already us doing the best for ourselves because how you show your self-love is a reflection of what you would then do to others. Good evening to your fellow king and queen. I appreciate y'all taking mm. the time, sharing knowledge and genuine experience. Good vibes for him. Oh, you already know Aww. family. That's a good brother in um, North Carolina. He's a drummer, you know, just like myself, percussionist. Shout out to you, King. We'll go um, look, look that man up if you're in NC, man. He needs some gigs, you know. <laughs> <laughs> He's nice with it. Trust. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, what you were saying was spot on. And I think um, that commitment to um, making sure that you're what I would call spiritually clean, right? Like, so that you're not lugging around past bullshit and bringing it to your current relationship Mm -hmm. right um so like from past partners from from your childhood like there's always new traumas that i'm finding that that i need to heal (laughs) like i'm or or not even new traumas just like new levels of traumas that i've experienced and it's like damn I, i thought i dealt with that oh there's more oh you mean that thing that i blocked out when i was eight Oh, now I'm getting the the full memory back? Okay, fine. I'm ready to deal with it. Let's go. You know, like, there's, like, levels to this healing. And if we don't take the time to, like, make sure that we are, like, cleaning up on a regular basis, then we're not going to be able to be our best selves. We'll just be angry or triggered as triggered AF. Like, that is... (laughs) <laughs> that's the one thing like we walk around like just responding to our triggers and then you know in uh, the purpose of a relation one of the purposes of a relationship is for you to actually see yourself and and see what needs to be healed so you're just gonna be triggered all the time mm-hmm. you know if you're not like actively like diving deeper um seeing that if you know you're you know just just making sure you're in a good space mental space um and emotional space um so yeah so that commitment like so for me like i gotta journal or and or meditate or and or move my body and or breathe and or do energy healing on myself Um, especially because i work with so many energies every day (laughs) like if it's not with a an adult client it's the children and with them i'm like always trying to get them to kind of see what's going on with themselves and why they are acting the way that they're acting so it's like okay and then this one has this pain and you know it's just like so many different things and energies um so i myself have to make sure like i ground myself daily or i'm gonna just be moody (laughs) um yeah so um yeah so that's like really important in a in a relationship when as black or indigenous people in this country we already got mad trauma just generational trauma period but then there's all the stuff that happened in our own lifetime um, that's also, you know, uh, an effect of the different things that has happened to us and our family dynamics. And, you know, the way that we might feel like we don't get enough love from a parent um, or they we might feel that just our relationship with that parent isn't making us feel safe. Right. We're going to carry that shit unless we deal with it. So, yeah a mouthful but i really mm. wanted to ground like really drive home that like it's important to like our one thing that has really supported in keeping our black love strong is our commitment to like um seeing what we're triggered what triggers us or like experiencing what triggers us in an interaction um and then taking the time to like heal that so and curve the way that we've been responding to that trigger peace Keep talking. Um, um, (laughs) Yeah, it's like responding, thinking about how we respond or changing the way that we respond to triggers. Like if we notice that 
you know, this person, like he might do this thing that really sets me off. I, it's my responsibility to like, okay, if he does it again, because he, if he did it once, he could probably do it again, right? Because that's that he's only doing what's in his own nature, what he feels is good, right? Mm-hmm. So if he does something and I am triggered, it's my responsibility to recognize that trigger. You know, I like to figure out where things come from. That's just my psychology brain. Um, and then I want she to. Has a master's <laughs> yes, I do. Um, and then it's it's my responsibility to actually, you know, figure out how I can soothe that and shift that. Obviously, I'm triggered because at some point in my life I was hurt by something similar or something that that has the same kind of. Um, I'm 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 thinking of like the brain with the synapses. It's something that um that has that a stimuli, something that um is a, is a stimulus stimuli to something from the past, right? So I have to I have to work on that. I have to heal that. And until I'm there, it's my responsibility to like make sure I don't blow up or do what I did last time because he did that thing. You know, it's 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 work. It's work to be um you know, like a, a good partner to be someone who's not causing um, just bad energy in the relationship. You know, like yes, um, he would of course. If I told him, if I tell him um, something is triggering me, he's gonna do his best to like be different about it. Even if he does that thing again, then like. Um, make sure that I know or try to make sure that I know that I'm I'm safe and supported and loved by him. That it's not like he's trying to provoke those hurt feelings that I that he knows that I um that I might have, right? But in the meantime, you know, he can do his part to make me feel good and I can do my part to not have that same emotional response to the trigger. If I'm aware of the trigger, that's great. Until I finish healing it, I gotta, I gotta try, mm-hmm. you know. And he gotta try. And if we both, you know, <laughs> fail at trying that time, it's not gonna be as bad as it was the first time because it's more understanding. So yeah, <laughs> peace, divine healer. Oh, I can talk now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I didn't know I could talk. She was going for mad long. God damn. Oh, please. You were going for like five minutes before me. All right? I waited patiently. Sorry, knocking out. Communication and understanding is key. Yes, Geneva, that is absolutely correct. <laughs> you can knock that. That is absolutely correct. So, when we talk about communication, this is something that I love to talk about, um, especially with my wife, because... I feel that that's what a lot of commu- I mean, a lot of relationships are lacking in communication. People don't know how to communicate properly. They don't. Know- and remember, communication. If you ever took speech class, something that a lot of people always take with them is that they see that they know that communication. Sorry, it is what is it? Eighty percent body and it's ten or twenty percent verbal or. I can't remember the, the the percentages. I got a smart chat, right? You know, you guys could um, let me know. We got a smart chat. It sounds like 80 20. <laughs> but the point is, is that it's more on a body language than the verbal communication, right? So a lot of the times, you know, couples, especially, uh, have verbal scuffles. And, I like that phrase. And not necessarily. <laughs> Like communicating, right? Because it's like, whoa, like, and then because of something that could have triggered them from something that happened through their body language. Oh, yeah. And this is all from (laughs) communication. And sometimes miscommunication, it's miscommunication because you, as the wife in the house, might have taken something like, whoa, he did this to me, da da da, Mm -hmm. when she had no intention of doing that at all. It was the way you perceived it. And that's where miscommunication comes in. This is where clarity comes in, specificity comes in. When your partner comes in and says these things, or you guys talk, you know, you got like this is what businesses do. Listen, your ma- your marriage, your relationship, think of it as a business. What do businesses do? Businesses they come together, they have meetings, they have um, forums, 
They have, <laughs> they do these things. They have things uh, uh, yearly. They have like quarterly meetings. You know, um, I used to have weekly meetings at the job. Yeah, I was they at. they debrief each other. You know, mm-hmm. they go through debriefings to make sure, like, hey, this is what we're doing. Okay, cool. We want our business to be this way in the next couple of years, or next year we want to have this much. Um, Funds, and we want to have this much. We want to have these amount of grants in. You know, this is what businesses do. So, as a relationship, it's not all about fucking. It's not all about busting a nut, guys. <laughs> Listen, I know I'm a Scorpio. I got that energy. It's been there. It's been living in me. It's still there. Trust me. She knows. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but the point is, we need to do more than that. We need to start offering these women more than our dicks. <laughs> And no, not you sapiosexuals and you want to just sell the women, oh, you're the god, you're a goddess and, uh, and I'm God and you're earth and, you know, let me, you know, put this world together and let's manifest, you know, no, 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 Women, women's too smart for that now. They're not going to fall for that dumb shit because you, 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 you can try to indoctrinate them with your quote unquote, um, <laughs> knowledge, knowledge, that shit ain't going to work neither. Right, if you're gonna, if we need something. The women need something tangible. They don't want to hear talking. And sorry, kicks, mm-hmm. but we want something tangible too because it's vice versa. It's balance. You know, I'm not gonna say something that men, because women kids be, be talking a whole good game too. And next thing you know, men is doing everything. And then when um when it's time for when it's time for the put the uh what you talking on the table, ain't nothing there at times. You know, so it's a balance between the two and understanding. That um, you t- it's, it's two individuals coming together, you know, of the opposite sex. I got to keep repeating that, right? To come together to create another being. That is the purpose of why we have black love, right? Black love or love, especially for us black, indigenous, aboriginal, melanated folks um, of the diaspora, uh, of the African diaspora, on the, on the continent of Africa, uh, on, on in the indigenous Americas, all over. Here, right, us black folks with this hue, this dark hue, this uniform, uh, um, this skin on us, us coming together, us procreating. Is a prob- uh, is a, is is going to be a problem, and it is a problem. This is a this is another reason why they have the eugenics and you know Planned Parenthood and trying to stop women from doing all these things, and the, the the big push of the LGBT community, so that they can stop our families from coming together, so we can stop producing and procreating gods. Because when listen, when we have more than them, you know we're already going to be populating the, uh, populating the earth. Than they are already. You know, their birth rate is already at an all time low and the mortality rate is at an all time high, right? Um, they're the, this coronavirus. Like, come on, let's let's be serious. Let's not, like, like, not in the sidebar. Like, if you're on a, uh, this high frequency, right? If you're on this vibration where you know you're eating right, you're living, um, you're, you're cleansing your cells, you have your immune system. Up to par, which is what your immune system is for, is to defend yourself, your your immunity, right? It's to defend everything in your body. So your body already has an encoding inside of it to defend anything that is foreign that comes in. But you have to, it's just like a car. Like you have to keep that shit up. You have to put the right things in there to make sure it's running right, you know? You gotta make sure you're switching your oil, right? To make sure the car's going right. If you if you ain't switching your oil, shit's gonna fuck up, period. But but guess what? It has something in the car for it to do that. <laughs> so your immune system is there. But sometimes we're not putting the proper foods in us, we're not eating the proper things, we're not hydrating ourselves, we're not doing the things to to best aid those things to actually have that function work. So this is an this is another way for viruses to then enter the body to enter our stream because our immunity is not up. I promise you, you 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 ain't never seen. Shout out to uh, brother Red Pill. I was watching his stream, man. You ain't never. Hey, Shawanda. Peace. You ain't mm-hmm. never seen no black person, right? Uh, or especially eating right on the vibration. On a similar frequency, but as you know, somebody on that God frequency walking around with no anthrax thing or no Ebola, no swine flu, no coronavirus, none of that stuff. 
Peace and love, family. Right? So if you're on that, that vibration, that stuff won't happen to you. <laughs> and this goes into the holistic lifestyle. Mm -hmm. Right? Because you're putting the proper things in to build up your immune system. Your immunity is everything. Once you don't have your immune... AIDS, autoimmune disease. Your immune system is shot. Oh, we got Argentina in the building. Peace. What's mm -hmm. going on? You know. You Saludos know. desde Argentina. <laughs> um, are you going to translate that for me, Cakes? Salutations from Argentina. Thank you. Or <laughs> greetings from Argentina. Bless. <laughs> you know? But yeah, so we got to understand... Um, these things and how they they relate to our relationships. Remember, relationship. So two people relating to each other. If you're in a relationship, you need to ask yourself, are you how are you relating to this individual, this other individual? Hounding on the word individual, because that person is an individual. They are individual, as I them is themselves, right? But they then you are Coming into a relationship, you're on a ship and you guys, you two are relating with each other. Where's your ship going? Are you guys just fucking? Are you guys just having sex? Or are you guys really trying to build something with each other? Are you guys looking, using each other for closure? Because these things happen. But sometimes these things are not communicated to touch back on um, what the sister said. Uh, uh, Geneva, right? Right, Geneva said communication. Right, to touch back on what you had said, couples don't communicate, or the people don't communicate. So mm -hmm. they're not even gonna call them a couple, but they don't communicate to the point where it's like, hey, I want sex, or the female just like, look, I just want some dick. Like I really, but the it's, it could be leading the guy on where he's really trying to get serious with you. Mm -hmm. Thinking and, about the future, you know, and he's like, yo, I, I, I want, you. and then guess what? The women might take uh, take advantage of that shit. Like, hmm. This guy's buying me shit, taking me out, all this shit. The last nigga ain't do nothing like this for me. I just want some dick. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> and then, you know, Maybe but years down the line. Years down the line, you know, you stuck with this person. I'm not saying stuck with them, but you dealing with them. you comp it's like, yeah. you know what, I'm gonna tolerate this because this person does this. And the guy, you know, eventually that stuff gonna build up. And it's gonna, and it's gonna, like, oh, yo, like something is wrong here. And all that time was just now wasted. It wasn't time that was invested into something that could build something because the woman knew from the jump that she wasn't into this man, and and, and um, the brother probably felt, but you know, you know what? Maybe maybe she could change. Maybe things could change. And these things go hand in hand, vice versa. You know, ladies going after a guy, guy and really want her from the jump. You know. And sometimes children are involved, mm -hmm. you know? So these are the things um, that really play a role on how black love and how these relationships will last. We got, quote unquote, Valentine's Day coming up um, next week, right? Couples yoga and dinner. Come Couples through yoga and dinner. for a magical experience with your loved you one. Know, we <laughs> shine that out. You know, we doing something for that. Excuse me. We don't really celebrate it, but we we, we try to just make sure, you know, couples do or want to um, use that holy day, holiday, as a way to, um, you know, do connect. something with their uh, other um, significant other and connect. It's cool, you know? So, we're doing something Thank for them God. so, you know, they can come through. There's some sound healing, yoga sound and healing. Sound is vibration and this healing is going to vibrate your cells and, put, and bring them to a, uh, a calm state. Right and um, yoga, breathing, ex, uh, breathing, just getting all that oxygen, oxygen communication, getting that oxygen to the cell, so your cells can actually breathe because your cells breathe as do you do. You see how you're inhaling and exhaling. Your cells do the same thing. They all have pores. They, they, they breathing. Right. So um, you want to make sure that you're getting um, the proper um, oxygen in and yoga. Is dealing with that and dealing with different breathing exercises and how to do that. So when you're doing that with your significant other, and even when you're doing synchronized breathing, which is, is yeah. that can be real powerful. We do right? that and, and guide them in a meditation as well, so that they meditation. can really like really connect um, with each other during that meditation. So it's be it's just a beautiful experience Please to really Sherry. you know um, connect heart to heart, soul to soul. What do you do when you meditate with their partner? What do you do, Kate? 
What's, oh, what, for what, myself? No, what do you do? What, what's simple? Don't even think of what do you do when you meditate? Oh, you what's my quiet the thing? mind and you just you can focus on nothing or you can focus on um, just on one language. thing. But uh, you're not saying anything. I, I think you're thinking too hard. What's one thing you do when you meditate? Connect. No. What you saying, baby? The first thing you do when you, all right, what are you first thing you do when you pray? Meditation is the same thing. I Free? think she. No. Oh gosh. Oh God. Thank you. You oh. close your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I think she's thinking Thank too you. hard. I'm like, you mean the process? <laughs> first, I, I, that, that's why I thought when I said pray. <laughs> It would have it would have been a hint like oh okay now yeah. I'm still thinking She's on like, the like what is the what is like the benefits what is <laughs> so set intention stay you on my frequency no, Shalanda no no no, no. <laughs> thank you, you Cherry you on the frequency the answer was close my eyes <laughs> you close your eyes it's that simple when you meditate when you're about to pray you close your eyes <laughs> why do you think you do that you the mechanic of the art. It's all yeah, good. No. no worries. <laughs> I had I had I had some people with me too, you know. <laughs> I but, overthink all the time. All good. Thank you, sis. <laughs> all right, cool. But look, we close our eyes, right? Why we do that? It's bringing us back into where we were created from, that darkness, right? So we're going back into the mind because all everything starts as a thought. Everything mm-hmm. starts here, right? Before. Before this water bottle could have become a bottle, it was a thought. It was in the creator's mind first. And then he had to use the tools to put this together, right? So everything starts, he or she. So everything starts off in the darkness. Yes, mental is key. She says she done walking meditations. Yeah, likewise. No, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Hold on, let me, because you're about to talk on that and it's going to drift off. So what you call it? We're going to talk about that. But as far as, you know, because that's something different as far as with that's that moving meditation. To, to what this is, right? Because when we're talking about bringing it, it's the same way when you try to, when you're kissing your significant other, right? Most of, I mean, you, you might have your eyes open, right? <laughs> but sometimes you just have that inclination to close your eyes. It wasn't just a thing you saw in the movies, right? Mm-hmm. It's just there. Like, you know, you just feel that way because... You know, you're you're more on a, uh, a spiritual plane with that person. So when you're meditating, it's, it's put into you, you into that state, right? It's the same way when they say that you're praying, right? So when you're praying, right, you're, you're trying to connect with that other being or you're trying to connect with yourself, right? So when you're doing that, when you're kissing your uh, significant other, you sometimes tend to close your eyes when you do that. So the same thing will happen when you're meditating. You're also closing, you're keeping the darkness in because you don't want your eyes to take in uh, excess light. And that light can then be a, a form of distraction. So when you're doing the walking meditation, you t- you're walking, you're moving, which is breathing is good. It's a form of exercise, but you're also taking in a lot of different light, light in, uh, in, in, in the eyes versus having it Set at a, at a darkness, so you know uh, your mind can uh, become calm, and you can actually, you know, when you're actually breathing, you're not seeing anything. So in this, this is where your thoughts come. When it's dark, <laughs> the darkness, all everything comes out of the darkness. All colors come from the darkness. Children come from the darkness. They sit in darkness for nine months, and then they are born into the world, the light. <laughs> and once the light hits their eyes, you know, they, so, so this, this goes to show us uh, the power of darkness. And, you know, this is why we as melanated black folks, we are, have that connection with the cosmos, with that, with, with, with the ethers, right? So us tying it back into us, how do we um, channel that to make sure that we as black folks... Peace, peace, Madison. How do we as um, black folks, right, strengthen that to keep our black love intact? Because, you know, everything, all is mental. Everything starts as a thought, right? But now how is our thoughts, this is what I was saying about frequency, right? Dealing with your significant other and being able to connect with them, right? Whether it's on a spiritual plane, physical, mental, emotional, your your significant other should be able to open up to you and talk to you and be open with you. 
Um, these are the things and, and uh, these are the things that strengthen up a relationship and these are what's going to keep black love intact because our um, this is what's going to keep the nation standing because it's families it's families that's running running the show right they took that connection away from us sis that's a fact we need to strengthen it for sure but see we here you know we are the power couple of the century I am coining that term, balanced healing. Make sure you heard it. Donald Jack of all trades, botanica, botanica healing. My wife, botanica. You know, uh, we here. Uh, we are the power couple of the century. You remember that? Balanced healing. Uh, we 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 are leading by example. You know, and there are other couples out there doing it, and there's a lot of other couples and, and marriages out there. Um, but we need more of it. We need we need definitely need more of it because we have a lot of and we have a lot of children out there. We have a lot of young adults that's looking towards us for guidance. And it, and if they're seeing you know us not treating it or respecting our women, not respecting our mothers, not respecting women in the community, you know, then what, why would they respect the women that they then they're going to be with? And then women, if you're not respecting the black black man in the community, if you're not you know uplifting him when he's doing right or do, doing good, you know, why would the young daughters want to respect? Um, another man coming up, you know. Um, so these all ties into the holistic lifestyle. You know, holistic meaning how we eating, what we putting in our bodies to make sure that we are both individually healthy, so that when we come together, we create a God. We create a God on Earth. We create that frequency, the highest amount of frequency, the best frequency that we can put on this Earth. Um, we about to get kicked out soon. And it's 11 11. Yeah, the, 11, the 11. timers are coming on. Yeah, man. They about to kick us out, family. So, um, you know, hope uh, you enjoyed this stream. Again, please tell us what y'all want us to talk about. It's yeah, Instagram's kicking us out, y'all. But shout out to y'all for staying on the live with us and everybody that did come in. You know? Um, yes. Hey. Yeah. So yeah, upcoming events, couples yoga and dinner on yes. 20, uh, 2 14, 2020. The day after that, we have our um, self expression, self jam, jam session. Self, no, 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 jam self expression session. Jam Get it right. Jam self expression <laughs> session. You know, That's so if you like music, if you like live music, you know, make sure you come out 215, my website, damojoat.com. Make sure you go in there, you see all the events there. Um, it's all there. Cheryl Fox Breeze says she um she makes custom sage. So get your sage from Cheryl yes. Fox Breeze. Yes, go to her page. Shout out to you, sis. Aww. Aww. All right, cool. sis. Thank you, sis. But yeah, so Damo Shout out to everybody. For all of the uh, upcoming events. Shannon, peace. Peace, Madison. Peace, everybody that came to the chat, came mm -hmm. to the live wellness chat Wednesdays. You know what? I think I'm going to go a lot. We're going to go live again sometime this week. Who knows? I'm tired of doing this Wednesday thing. You know, um, mm -hmm. might pop up on y'all sometime this week. Um, with that being said, peace. love and light. Peace, 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 peace. Yes, you'll be looking for me. All right, sis. Thank you. Oh, no problem. The info is always uh, edifying. Oh, I appreciate that, sis. Thank you so much. Um, love and light. We can't say this.